Oh yeah, we have a final trailer for War for the Planet of the Apes. I haven't done a video on all the War for the Planet of the Apes trailers, but this one being the final one, and them actually saying it is the final one, I think I want to do one. So this trailer starts out, Caesar and his crew were going through this house. They're going into this house looking like rangers, dude. They're all zero dark 30, clear in the corners. They find this girl, and Caesar's like, eh, she can come with us, she has no one else. We're not savages. There's that one ape that's like, bad human kill ape, and Caesar's like, bad human. He's like, soldiers. However, you look at the reverse, it's like, they're soldiers. Looks pretty soldier to me. So what you have are two species who are just, they're fighting to survive. Two species at war with each other. The winner will be the dominant species on the planet. The loser, either gonna be slaves or wiped out completely. Woody Harrelson with his speeches, man, every trailer he has a new speech or at least building on the last speech he showed from the previous trailer. And this one he's like, years from now, when your children ask you, what did you do in the greatest war? You can say, I fought. You look at it, this is the greatest war. I mean, it's not the largest scale war, but it really is the war that's going to define where the future of the planet, or at least the species on the planet goes. Selfishly put, our species. Moments like this, I always wonder, like, wh what about islands? What about New Zealand? I imagine they're living in the Stone Age right now. Is there a war with apes happening in New Zealand? Or are they like, well, that kind of sucks. I guess we'll start over. Let's just start over flinting a rock. Making fire. Apes aren't everywhere. I don't pretend to know where apes are and are not, geographically speaking, on the globe. I'm just saying there can't be a war everywhere. Someone doing research in Antarctica is like, sweet, I got the cure for cancer. What happened to the world? I'm going to assume something happens to that little girl that pisses Caesar off. If I'm going to jump to an assumption or a conclusion, I feel like Woody Harrelson, when he raids their camp, Something happens to the girl, pisses Caesar off. Caesar's gonna realize like, oh, you don't care about human beings versus ape. You just want to win at any cost. And someone like that should probably not be the dominant species on the planet. I like the Woody Harrelson breakdown too. He's talking to Caesar. He's like, you're smart as hell. You're stronger than we are. The humans seem to have more tech on their side, but if you have them toe to toe, Apes are gonna beat humans. And Caesar says what has been true all along. He's like, I did not start this war, but I will. Finish it. Which is true, he's like, we apes, we just wanted to hang out and live. And you guys picked a fight, now here we are fighting a war. We got some turncoat apes helping out the humans. I like to know their ideology. I, I hope it's not a case of like, oh, they're just apes helping humans. I want that ape who's helping humans to be like, this is why I'm helping humans. Guys, in the end, I know that War for the Planet of the Apes is not gonna be the last Planet of the Apes movie. There's gonna be a lot more, but as I've said before, I see this as a trilogy. And if they actually stick this landing, these apes movies, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, War for the Planet of the Apes. Solid trilogy right there. The rest after that can suck if they want to. As long as I have my solid trilogy of the fall of mankind and the rise of the apes. Alright guys, so the War for the Planet of the Apes, the final trailer. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you think, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.